All right, it's that time again. If you are searching for good tax software to file your taxes in 2022, we are highlighting TaxHawk, a low cost tax software that might be right for you. Stick around. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with the College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. Today we are talking about Tax Hawk. We are doing a review of the tax software to see whether or not it's right for you. So let's go ahead and jump into the first question. Tax Hawk. Is it really free? Now, your federal filing within this software is free. However, your state filing is $14.99. So this isn't a completely free tax software, but it is low cost compared to other premium tax software like H&R Block or TurboTax. So what's new in 2022 for TaxHawk? Well, they've made some improvements in their navigation. And what I really liked about TaxHawk when I was testing out their software is that if I missed anything, they were quick to kind of give me some yellow cautionary signs to say, hey, you didn't fill this out. That's not wrong, but it's unusual. Maybe you need to go back. And I found that to be really helpful because it was right in front of my face and I could see where I needed to go back and fix things. Also, their menu navigation is pretty simple to use. There's no bells and whistles. I found that I was able to navigate through through all of the different major subsections of my tax return, which made it helpful to get through some complex filing situations. Okay, let me go ahead and take you inside of the TaxHawk software and I'll show you how it works. All right, so this is what it looks like inside of the TaxHawk dashboard. If you have been reviewing tax software with us, you will notice that this looks very similar to Free Tax USA, almost identical on the inside. And they have identical pricing, but let's go over some of the notable features. Each section is labeled clearly up at the top. When you go through a section, you are going to see a little summary page at the end, but you're going to want to do this in sequential order because you can't click around and jump around to the different sections. So I do appreciate that, that it keeps you on task. After you fill out your personal information, you're going to see some of these different support features. So these are some notable features you'll want to look at, such as getting tax advice from a CPA or EA, and that's going to be an upgrade of $24.99. So you get the help of a CPA, get your tax questions answered, could be a good deal for you. Now, if you are just wanting some live chat and support, you can do that here for $6.99. This is kind of the deluxe upgrade. And you also get the audit assist here. These are some features that you might want to consider if you are doing tax hawk. Otherwise, you can just do a step-by-step -step guide here, save and continue, and then go throughout your tax return. One of the notable drawbacks that we noticed as we were testing this is that when you go to add in a tax form, there is no ability to import those tax forms automatically. In other words, we have to fill this out manually and that could leave a margin of error if you are inputting different numbers <laughs> from your W-2. If Even if you just get one number off that could really throw off your federal and state returns. So that is a drawback and also kind of time consuming if you think about it. You have to fill out all of this information for one W-2 form. And if you have multiple forms, this could take you a long time to fill out. What I do like about Tax Hawk though is that you get to see your federal refund or the federal amount that you owe up here in the upper right hand corner. So that will change as you fill out more forms and take deductions or credits. Another notable feature here is that you have these nice summary sections at the end of each major section of your tax return so that you can quickly see what's been filled out, what hasn't been filled out, and then you can actually go back to something and fill it in if you need to. And then if you ever need to go back to where you started, you can just 
click the drop down menu and take you over back over to the income summary. And then it's going to continue on into the next section. All right, so for Tax Hawk, it is free to file your federal return. Your state return is going to cost $14.99. So it is a good bargain tax software if you are considering this as kind of a middleman. However, you are going to want to make sure that you understand how to jump through the sections clearly. There is kind of this Q&A menu navigation, but if you don't take the time to actually read through every Everything. This could trip you up, especially if you're a first time filer or not used to filing your taxes on your own. You could see here where most people may take a standard deduction. It may appear like you have to fill out the itemized deduction sections when you don't need to. You can actually click continue. However, you could be tripped up and think you have to start all of these things since these are forms that you haven't visited yet. Otherwise, the dashboard is very clean. It's no bells and whistles, no frills. You do get to see your refund or amount owed fluctuate as you fill out more of your return. The little summary sections are really nice. However, if this is your first time filing, you may find that it can be a little confusing. But that's a quick rundown of what it looks like inside of TaxHawk. So TaxHawk made some improvements to their navigation, which makes it a top contender if you are looking for some bargain tax software. But you'll see, if you are doing a side-by-side -side comparison of TaxHawk and FreeTaxUSA, they are pretty much identical. So I don't think you could really get a different experience from one or another. You're going to find that you'll be able to do very similar things in both software. Also side hustlers, rental property owners, and people who need to file in multiple states will probably see a lot of value in using something like TaxHawk. Now, if you still haven't made up your mind about which tax software you want to use, don't forget we have complete reviews and guided walkthroughs of all of the latest and greatest in tax software available to you at thecollegeinvestor.com.